Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here today, and today we are going to be installing a rustic light. It looks like this. It's going to hang over our table. So we're going to throw that up, and you can see one lamp is included. Signature design by Ashley. That is the model number. We're going to take this one down because, well, I'm not a big fan of it. So we have the light all laid out here. First thing I did is I measured it. Next thing I've done is I went, and I went downstairs, had the light on, and I had Tariq basically be up here and yell at me when I hit the right lighting breaker. Afterwards, the switch is on and the light is off. This is good. Mika just stayed here and looked cute and ate the box. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is measure this four feet and take that. But first, actually, I wanna take this light off. So you can see I've already undone the two screw ends there that were on the very top. The whole light's coming down. Next thing to do, take my impact take off that metal plate and uncap the white and black leads. If you see a red lead, then make sure you uh, note that. You might have to cap it off or wire it the same way the red lead is wired in. Now be careful because that red lead usually means that is a triple throw switch or double throw switch, meaning there's a switch here and a switch here. So if you simply just turn that one off and you're like, yeah, I'm not gonna flick the breaker off, it's still getting power through that switch, if that makes sense. That's what the red wire is for. Be very careful. So as you can see, there's a hook right here. You're just gonna open up the D-ring after you do so. That'll be on this side of the chain. We measured our old light. We found out it was 64. So stretch the chain out with the top attached. With this, add five inches for the shades uh, on top of it. So once we measured for that, we then bent one hook right where we wanted it. So the measurement came to here. So we bent this hook, took it off, and then counted the links, or you put them side by side and count the links, do this one, two, three, four, all the way up, and make sure you get rid of both the same length. And then after you do that, you've bent out the piece like so, unhooked it, left it off to the side, do that to both sides, leave this open, just leave it like that. Uh, next thing you're going to do is keep pulling the excess wire to a point where you're like, I will never go any lower than this. And then you cut that extra wire by running a knife. Don't run it around, slit it down the center. So try and get it down the center and get, just get it started. Cause if I show you how I did this, literally all you do is you run an exacto down the center and you'll see that my wire is split. And as soon as it's split near the top, then you can pull these two wires apart and it'll keep going to the point where you want it. Stop the sheet there, cut it with a knife, and then strip the two ends about that much. Now that we've got all our wires done, we're going to rehook this up. And then we'll go to the ceiling. So you'll see this nub here. Unscrew it. Little metal plate falls off the back end. You're going to take it to the roof. If you have a box up top, you will mount it like so. If you want to, you can ground this plate by running a small piece of copper wire from here to right here. This is advised for most, but a lot of people don't do it. All you do is you run the one copper, the bare copper that's on there to there. If you have a red one like so, you put your black wire to the red, or if it's black, put it to black, and then for white to white, just tie them back in. All right, so when you're putting this up, you hold the plate up onto here, tighten it. Um, I would suggest tightening, putting all as much wire as you can in here, and then pulling what you actually need out so it stays nice and taut like so. After we've done that, you can twist these rings a little bit up here or twist them right here to get it to sit over the table right. This might drive you nuts. This you can't see as much. See which way you want to do it. For me, it won't bother me either way. It still looks good. But other than that, now that we've got the fixture actually hanging here, let's get the covers on and the light bulbs in. So right here, if you reach inside, you start turning, you'll notice that there is a little plastic ring. Be careful with these ceramic style Mine was damaged actually in shipping, I can see here. So I just gotta be careful with it, but there's ceramic outlets. Then you just put this in, line it up like that, and thread it. Be careful when you're threading it, just cause you don't want to cross thread it. 
Not that you really have to worry with this, but yes. That's it. Do that to all three that it's off and out. It's not even anymore because of the weight, <laughs> but just do that times three. There you go. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. Now you just go turn your breaker back on, put the lights in, and flick the switch, Igor. So I'm going to show you what these kind of bulbs look like in the light. Let's quickly throw them in. And that's what the light looks like above a dining room table. Flick on the other light so you can see the actual light itself.